Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the Schönen Müllerin, a song cycle by Schubert, and uh, the Winterreise. And I have a very interesting aspect to compare the two. And I'm looking through the lens of what, what water means in one cent in one cycle and what water means in the other cycle in the Winterreise. It's very interesting. In the Schöne Müllerin, um, we have our hero finishing his apprenticeship in one town and he says to the miller, he is, wants to become a miller, and he says to the miller master and his wife, let me go in peace, I'm going to get my education now in another city, which is what back then was the norm to do. And uh, he's going out with, with full of joy and hope for the future, which of course is this late romanticism, well, mid romanticism, everything ends badly, it does end in suicide, he falls in love with the miller's daughter in the new town and, and she takes off with the hunter <laughs> and so uh, uh, he's unconsolable at the end. Winterreise is different in this regard that it starts off unhappy and goes downhill from there. <laughs> also ends in, in suicide. But what is very interesting is to compare the role of water. Of course, with a miller, you have the um, point that they need a brook. So the brook represents economy um, and economical success. It re um, represents labor, hope, life giving, because you get your fish in there too. And um, and so so the the brook that seven or eight songs are devoted just to the brook in this in this cycle um, is a friend um, is a comforter is some someone or something that gives hope and leads you further on to new aspects of life um, that in this particular one is even becomes. A, a, trusted confidant of our hero, he tells him his joys and uh, his woes. And so it's very, very interesting. Just to give you the different mood between the Schöne Müllerin and the Winterreise, how they start off differently, both start with wandering off the old village. And this is how our hero starts in the Schöne Müllerin.
That's just for the introduction. Um, now back to the Schöne Bülle. And already the second song in this cycle is pretty much devoted entirely to the brook itself. So he wanders out and, and with no cares, and as he leaves the old village, and he hears, hears a murmuring, and as a miller, of course, he knows where there is a brook, eventually there will be a mill. So he just needs to follow the brook, and he will hopefully find new employment and uh, his next level of his apprenticeship in the next town, right at the mill. So he feels the calling of the brook as, he, as soon as he hears the murmur in the distance. He rushes there, uh, goes there, and immediately starts a relationship with this brook. Um, he, he says right at the beginning, I heard a little brooklet gushing um, somewhere out of the, the mountains coming um, and going down into the valley. And so he follows this, and as he gets closer, he hears more and more murmuring, of course, and somehow in all of this murmuring, he thinks, is the brook telling me something? And he seems to hear in this murmur, um, sort of like nowadays when people do backwards, uh, backwards tapes and try to make out sentences while, while speaking backwards, while the tape is speaking backwards. Um, so in that same insecurity, he projects his own thoughts into the murmur and says, I think the brook is saying to me, come follow me uh, to the next um, opportunity. And so he then thinks, oh, it must be the Nixons uh, calling me to follow them. And uh, so the brook takes him in very friendly, becomes his friend and guide already in the second song. Beautiful murmuring here in the water. And uh, you have beautiful melodies coming in from that. And this murmuring of the brook becomes sometimes more gushing, sometimes swells back, like a real brook would. And um, you have our hero following this and starting his relationship with that. Yeah. 
kept his promise because in song number three um, he's following the brook and he can already see the first glimmering of a mill wheel uh, through the leaves. So he has reached his goal and the brook has kept his promise. Um, and so number three shows the arrival at his of the journeyman's potential new job. He hasn't asked the miller yet, he's just discovered the mill. Um, as I said, lurking through the leaves of the trees. So, uh, song number three, although I must say, is too pianistic to sing and play at the same time. So I'm just going to do a little bit of an impression of kind of what it's like. You still have the brook, this time already more intensely gushing. <laughs> And that kind of goes like this. 